Hi, welcome to week four of Ignite the Spark series. And in today's video, you will be learning Spark's integration with other ecosystem tools. Let's dive in. So in the last video, I was talking about Spark can work with all the, uh, you know, other products in the industry and, and why is it important? So let's say you're working in a project and your data may be scattered in many different places, right? And typically what people do, they will be depending on ETL tools to bring the data. But when it comes to Spark, Spark has built-in connectors using that it can connect to most of these tools in the industry and can read and write the data. If you look at this diagram, you can see that Spark is capable of connecting to almost all the cloud file stores. For example, you have Amazon S3, you have Microsoft Azure Blob Storage, etc. And it will be able to read the data and write the data. Spark can also connect to almost all the RDBMS platforms, MySQL, Oracle, you name it. It can read, it can write. Then it can also read and write from SAPs, mainframes, NoSQL databases like MongoDB, Cassandra, DynamoDB, even big data, data warehousing platforms like Hive, uh, Redshift, BigQuery, etc. And another advantage is Spark natively understand six different file formats. So you have CSV, JSON, XML, Parquet, ORC, Avro. What does this give you? This gives you freedom to use a single tool to connect to all these places and manage your data. Let's say you're working in a project, imagine, right? And this project has a lot of data. So probably you have some customer data. They are stored in the form of Parquet files. You have some log data and they are uploaded in Amazon S3. You have some transaction data and they are in MySQL. Now you can use Spark to connect to all these things and bring all the data in one place, then process it, and the output can be stored in, let's say, MongoDB. So seamless integration with all these existing tools makes Spark a superstar of the ETL world. In fact, there are a lot of companies who started using Spark as an ETL tool. Now, there are a lot of existing ETL tools in the cloud and on-premise, but if you are getting the same power with Apache Spark, then why should you go for a different tool? So this will make your life easier because you can reduce the dependency on other tools and do everything starting from Spark. I hope you really enjoyed this video. So in case if you like the content, then please consider liking the video and sharing it with your friends. Thank you. I'll see you in the next week.